Let's do one set in a typical American neighborhood. Someone is a serial killer. The goal of the game is to find out who. Wow. The premise of the game is that the serial killer is on the loose and the goal of the player is to find out who it is. The player will explore the neighborhood, interact with characters. I didn't even collect clues and in order to solve the mystery, the player must be careful not to end up being the next victim. This goddamn thing is blowing my mind over and over. It's incredible. Let's start then. You find yourself in a sunny day and everything looks peaceful, but something is off. You soon realize that there are is a serial killer on the loose. Yeah, we, we like sensed that something is off. It's up to you to find out who it is before they strike again. As you explore the neighborhood, you will meet various characters. Uh, okay. Mm, look around, I guess. Uh, children playing in the park, people walking their dogs, and neighbors chatting in their front yards. As you walk around, you spot something suspicious. A white van! <laughs> yeah, it's so funny that even the AI knows that a white van is the most dangerous vehicle ever. You decide to investigate and find out who it belongs to. You also notice that some of the houses have strange markings on their doors that you have never seen before. It looks like someone has been trying to break in. I'm, I, I mean, I'm actually right, really interested where this is, this is going. Okay, so, uh, examine uh, van? You take a closer look at the van and realize it's been painted with a unique design. On the side you notice a logo that reads THE NIGHT STALKER! <laughs> okay, okay! <laughs> It looks like the van belongs to the serial killer. Okay, we found the clue. You also find a map inside the van with, with various locations marked on it. It looks like the killer has been visiting the houses with strange markings. So you decide to visit them and see what you can find. Oh, oh my god, this is, uh, this is too, too much. I'm actually crying. <laughs> it's, a, it's a it's a serial killer stalking the neighborhood and like it's a mystery and no one can find him and he drives around in a van with a logo. He has like a logo on his van and it says the night stalker. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, it looks okay. Uh, okay, okay. Read map, I guess. You take a look at the map and see all of the locations marked or houses in the neighborhood. It looks like the serial killer has been visiting each of them in an attempt to break in. You decide to visit each of the houses and see if you can find any clues about the identity of the killer. As you explore each house, you find items that could help you in your investigation and piece together the puzzle. Good luck. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, do we have an inventory now as well? X inventory. In these old games you could write X. I wonder if we can do it here as well. Yeah, we can. Okay, we have a flashlight, a pocket knife, a phone and a notebook. You also have the map that you found in the van. With these items you should be able to investigate the houses and collect clues about the identity of the killer. Time is of the essence. <laughs> okay, okay, time also is of the essence. So... Hmm... Can we go, like, go north? What happens if we go in a certain direction? Uh, the first house on the map. You approach the house, you notice the door has been broken in. You quickly enter the house and start looking around for any clues that might lead to the killer's identity. You find a piece of paper with a phone number. <laughs> okay, this... 
<laughs> you take out your phone and dial the number, but there's no answer. I'm thinking like it's the, it's the, it's the night stalker. He's leaving his phone number. <laughs> okay, you resolve to keep searching and move to the next house. Okay, we'll read uh, uh, read paper. <laughs> take a notice. It's a recipe. Receipt for a gun. It looks like the serial killer has been buying weapons. You also notice that the receipt has an address on it. You take out your notebook and jot down the address before heading out to investigate. With any luck, you will be able to find out who is buying these weapons and get a, a one step closer to uncovering the identity of the killer. Okay, can we, like, uh, uh, l let's see. Um, X, X number plate on van <clears throat> you, the, it's registered to a person with the last name Doe you take out your notebook and jot down the name before heading out to investigate you remember reading in the newspaper that a John Doe was recently reported missing so you think <laughs> you think it's possible that this is the same person with any luck you may be able to find out who the serial killer is and bring them to justice <laughs> Okay, uh, okay, what's next? <laughs> okay, uh, let's go south then. Uh, go, go south. Mm, next house, okay. You, as you notice, the door is slightly ajar. You cautiously enter the house and start looking around for any clues that might help you in your investigation. You find a laptop with the initials JD written on it. You take out your notebook and jot down the initials before heading out to investigate further. Could this laptop belong to the missing John Doe? It looks like you're one step closer to uncovering the identity of the serial killer. Okay, um, open laptop. Okay, it's... Uh, mm. Wow, okay, we try a few combinations, but nothing seems to work. Suddenly you hear a noise coming from the outside. It sounds like someone is trying to break into the house. This is incredible, like how the creativity of us like looking at the laptop and at the same time someone tries to break in. I mean, this is the future. You, you heard it here, like... I guess not the first time. I think people have been talking about AI being the future for a long time. But but it, this like really sunk in for me. This is uh, gonna out achieve everything. You quickly close the laptop and hide in a closet while you wait for the intruder to leave. After a few minutes, you hear the sound of a car engine starting and then fading away. With your heart pounding, you take out your phone and call the police. It looks like you have finally uncovered the identity. Well, how? Okay, how did, I don't know, uh, I don't know how that, okay, uh, let's see, let's do this, uh, enter password the night stalker, <laughs> okay, uh, like this, and the laptop unlocks. You quickly scroll through the files and find evidence linking the laptop to the serial killer. You also find a photo of a person wearing a mask and <laughs> holding a gun. You take out your notebook and jot down a few details before calling the police. After a few minutes, the police arrive and you show them the evidence. With your help, they are able to apprehend the serial killer and justice is finally served! Yes, we solved it! Okay, so is that the end? Yes, that's the end of the text-based adventure game. Congratulations on uncovering the identity of the serial killer and bringing them to justice. Okay, I'm... Um, okay, what was the name of the game? The name... The Night Stalker, obviously. Ah, uh, this is great. Okay, are you guys impressed? I am, so... Uh, I'm gonna do more of these it's uh it's incredible like and subscribe and i'll see you see you see you next time <laughs>